Grand Rising family, welcome to your Monday reading. Monday the 4th. Monday the 4th. Let me turn the page. Turning the page. Hmm, interesting. That's exactly what Spirit wants us to do. Turn the page. So family, um, if I sound like I've been crying, it's because I have. I was doing a cord cutting right before this reading. And boy... <laughs> hysterical crying <laughs> which is a good thing a lot of release um so i'm gonna keep doing it because every time i do it it's like water works so the work is working anyway um i i keep being guided to the goddess deck so i'm gonna stick stick to it but this return from spirit deck which was a gift from a member of our community um, I pulled an energy from, from this deck. I don't know if it was today. I think it was this morning and, um, a very beautiful and important energy came out and I wanted to actually, I saved it cause I wanted to actually read it for you guys. And which was a reminder to keep doing the cord cutting. So we have this power card here. Okay. And I'm going to read this because the, the message was really beautiful from this book. The power card rules the third chakra, the solar plexus chakra. It is where we experience our own sense of personal power. If you have drawn this card today, it is because spirit is asking that you focus on your own sense of personal power and claim it. Have you been hiding from your power or afraid to own it? Have you been feeling powerless or, or fearing you aren't strong enough? It's time to focus on your solar plexus and start to build your sense of personal power. Sometimes there can be a drain from our solar plexus because we are unintentionally courted to another person, most often in close relationships. This energetic cord runs directly from our third chakra and attaches to the other person. We unknowingly let others siphon off our power. This can happen if we are enabling or trying to please someone. It can also happen if we fear losing the love of that person or if we feel attacked in some way. It is time for you to look closely at why this, ha this has happened to you and to ask your guides and angels to assist you with cutting that cord. This card also comes if you are in fear of claiming our power or standing tall and showing the world exactly who we are. Most often, we have had experiences in our early years where we personally witnessed the misuse of power or had someone attempt to diminish our own. We're actually seeing a lot of that in the news. Um, you know, Pluto was retrograde in Capricorn. I think it still is. Or maybe it went direct already. It's not back in Aquarius yet. But when Pluto was in Capricorn, there was a lot of uh, a misuse and abuse of power coming to light. That was in the past, though. I'm reading, I'm finishing reading this book. And you know how power is not to be used. You also know that not claiming your own personal power does not serve you. It's time for you to claim you. It's time for you to claim you to claim your life and claim the fact that you are a powerful and incredible soul. So I love that message. I'm going to leave that here because I feel like I am might, if I remember to pull from this deck a little, a little later, but I want to get started with the reading. Um, let me go grab my water. I forgot it over there again. So I love that message which um, inspired me to keep going with the cord cutting. I hope you guys didn't hear that. That sounded so loud. So, okay, so let's go. So we are in Mercury shadow period. I'm going to say my prayer.
Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels and spirit guys. May this message reach everyone that needs it. And so it is, and so it is, and so it is. I'm going to split the deck. And we have guiding children. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your youthful, use your skills to help children now. I want to thank everyone for being here. I want to thank everyone that's new. Welcome to the family. Everyone that's returning, welcome back. Thank you to everyone that has donated to the channel, donated decks, sent super thanks, and has donated to uh, in any any way, shape, or form to our community. Commenting below, clicking like, subscribing, all of that helps. Thank you for all of your support and for scheduling personal readings with me and supporting me on my other platforms. Thank you, thank you, thank you, family. God bless you so much. May you always continue to be blessed and receive tenfold infinity and beyond all that you give. And so it is. All right, so let's go. All right, what is the energy for Monday for Beautiful Collective here? What is the energy for Monday? We have endings and beginnings. Interesting, this came out in uh, Aquarius's reading yesterday. The old must be released so that the new can enter. That's Kali. That's Kali Ma. Okay. The goddess of destruction. What else? Um, for the collective for Monday. So you are keep releasing. Keep doing the cord cutting. Keep doing the forgiveness affirmations. The detachment affirmations. And the letting go affirmations daily as well as the unconditional love one worthiness one also is a good one what else is the collective for monday bright future Ooh, lakshmi i love this energy stop worrying everything is going to be fine and we have peace and why don't we just go ahead and keep that under that we have true love Oh my goodness. And Mother Earth. So go ground your energy. Go spend time in Mother Earth with Mother Gaia. That's where we get a lot of creative ideas. You are called upon to help with environmentalism. That's also that Nine of Wands energy, Seven of Wands energy. There is no need to worry. Again, with the release, the worry, as everything is working out beautifully for you, especially in matters of love. We have true love here. This came out early, uh, yesterday for, for uh, Instagram. Hey, um, did I see this in the Aquarius reading? No, I didn't. It was some, I saw undying love and unconditional love. Yes. The romantic stirrings of your heart has propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So true love has been coming out a lot in the past few days in the energy. Love is in the air. I love seeing this peace energy. The more you release, the more you allow for things to die out and go. She's holding a baby here. So you know, something about your inner child, but also something about you guiding children, children may be coming into your life. Okay. So you could be worried about your family and your children right now. Um, you could be wondering, she's holding a basket of food. If you, if you, if you have, if you're going to be able to provide, uh, there's a lot of things here that that's coming up with this children card. But again, your future is really bright here. Your faith is really strong. Okay, stop worrying. Stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. You could be having some anxiety, some fear, some depressions. We're worrying too much about the future, focusing too much on, pa on the past. So go ground your energy. Spend some time um, out in nature, environmentalism, right? Um, wow, okay. So let's go. I'm going to split the deck. We have judgment. A careful review of the past with compassion and love. That's how we can release it. So we can start our new life by right? making healthier decisions for ourselves. Okay, this is a second chance. This is forgiveness as well. And then we have the lovers here. But true love is in the is in the air. Love is in the air. Yes, it is. All right, family. What else? I'm releasing a lot myself, so I, I'm right here with you guys on this, walking each other home on this journey. I heard movement, dance, move your body and dance. It's going to help you to come back into your body. It's also going to help to release the stagnant energy you could be feeling at this time. If you're feeling stagnant energy or stuck energy. By moving your body, running, stretching, dancing, it can really help. Yeah, there's somebody here that wants to talk to you that could be watching you here. Okay, watching you shine, watching you radiate, watching you work, watching you work. 
watching you master some, master yourself, master something, watching you come into the light here. Okay. So, um, this is somebody that wants to talk to you. Could be somebody, wow, well, lift up the deck. There's the six of cups. Could be, this could be somebody from your past. It is Mercury shadow period. Okay. Um, I feel you're going to have a decision to make when it comes to this. It might be this true love here that the universe, that, you're, that, that the universe, what is it? The roman the romantic stirrings of your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. So that could be what that is coming in. All right. What else? Okay. With death. Oh my God. Right under Kali. Right under endings and new beginnings. That's exactly what the death card represents. Endings and new beginnings. <laughs> death is an illusion, right? The energy is transformed. Okay. Uh, there is no such thing as a uh, loss. Or real endings, right? As far as the, en the energy can, energy is transformed. So, um, energy can't be uh, broken. It can only be transformed. So, we have here spiritual transformation. Oh, my goodness. With this already. Spiritual transformation. Rebirth energy. Endings that's propelling a new beginning kind of warm in here we have the empress at the bottom of the deck what else we have the chariot so taking control and being very focused on this uh movement forward on this victory on this triumph that's coming your way here okay this is overcoming the obstacles and transcending it bright future ahead though somebody's rising from the ashes here and getting ready to take initiative and take control of the energy and move towards the divine feminine the Empress is a divine feminine. I believe Venus, Venus here is moving into Aquarius. I'm uh, not Aquarius. Oh my God. Got that in the brain. Venus is moving into Scorpio today. So not, not an accident astrologically that this is here. Venus is moving into Scorpio today. So, um, huge energy of, uh, depth. Okay. When it comes to love. No, that's what the stuff could be coming up for you when it comes to matters of the heart <laughs> from the depths of the center of your core and soul for you to look at, <laughs> for you to address. Okay. For you to dive deeper into, um, deep bonds and deep soul connections. That's going to be highlighted for you. That's all you're going to have energy and time for nothing superficial and nothing. That's not authentic connections that you can grow in abundant connections right that's enriching and substantial so deep 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 connections we're talking about uh it's got deep also memories of uh deep soul connections that you uh had with people it's going to be coming up for you uh, today I, I got that as well and we see scorpio here we're seeing we're diving deep we're releasing old versions of ourselves, peeling back the layers, diving deep, deep, deep into the psyche, into the subconscious, into the soul, unraveling here, transforming from the inside out. I keep seeing five, five, five. I'm seeing every single angel number. Five, five, five is one I don't you know, see often unless I'm going through a major change. I'm going through a major change right now. Another one. And um, seeing 555 five, five every day. So we're in the midst of a major change, major transformation right now. So it is important that you do practice self-care and self-love and take very good care of yourself, that you listen to your body, that you move your body, you hydrate, you eat real well, you rest. So for that integration can occur, okay, so that the inner changes uh, that, that's taking place here you're getting ready to give birth here to a new life to something new or to a new project to a new beginning for some of you guys could be a child okay you're in a cocoon right now getting ready to go through a major rebirth 
the old must be released must be released so that the new can enter so you're going through this slow death process of uh, old timeline old cycles old situations you're seeing things completely different can i have one more nine of swords under stop worrying bright future is ahead here so there is some anxiety that's coming up some fears because of this death process it's not easy this there you're going you pro, you're going through a spiritual awakening the awakening is not just a one-time thing okay if there's stages and phases to the awakening i posted it on instagram the different stages definitely look it up uh definitely look up spiritual awakening stages and signs on YouTube, Kundalini Awakening Signs, Shadow Work, Dark Night of the Soul, so you can see what exactly what's going on with you internally. You can do your research and your homework. But with this peace energy, that's crown chakra. And uh, that's crown and root as well, okay? You might need to work on your root chakra so that you can ground your energy. That's the chakra where we feel, you know, unstable, and frustrated or irritated or even um, distracted, uh, anxious, fearful, where we're worried, having anxiety, all of that is a root chakra imbalance. I can post in the community board for you guys a wonderful root chakra meditation by Pure Rasa, or you can just research Pure, uh, Pure Rasa root chakra. Spend time in nature. It's time for you to practice breath work with the peace card to come back to the present moment. Come back to your body. But there's a, somebody that's having sleepless nights here that's very stressed. Wondering if everything is going to be probably regarding the sleep of faith. This new beginning here that they want to take. They can't seem to get out of their heads. Overthinking. Outdated beliefs. Limiting thoughts. Conditioning. Victim consciousness. Um you know, not seeing a way out of a situation here, but it's like the fool is here and the fool is that bright future. Lots of yellow, that solar plexus energy of taking your power back. You could be getting psychic attacks. These intrusive thoughts are not real. You're just going through the shedding process. And what's good about this, uh, these swords is that it's, it's, uh, not major arcanas, which means, um, it's passing. It's, it's temporary. And uh, rest is needed for sure to quiet your mind. Going into breath work. I have all of those on the community board. Breath work as well to help to re-regulate and come back into alignment and balance. But the good, another good news is, is that it's escalating, which means we're going 8, 9, and then we get to the 10. That's it. The sun comes up. That's where we reach the, the limit at, when it comes to our breaking point. So we can have a breakthrough, right? A, break, a breaking point of our pain threshold okay um the fool right under peace there's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully the sun is coming out look i have the sun coming out in two different energies here I have the sun coming out in the death card here see that and the sun here with the fool so again this darkness is going to pass. This heaviness, this weight is going to pass. Whoever is in this energy, this could be you. You could be feeling somebody else's energy. Or this could be somebody in your energy. I have Scorpio. I have Aquarius and Aries here on the board. And any of the air signs. Can I have one for death? So going through a major transition and transformation right now. This is a beautiful thing. Yeah, it's requiring a lot of inner and outer strength. Interesting because you are stronger than you think you are. Came out yesterday with the true love card. This true love has strengthened you. This journey has strengthened you, right? Has uh, helped with, with the, we saw the Empress with the evolution of your soul and your growth. Okay, we're talking about growing pains here. So, um... It could be, you know, this, 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 this fear of this ending, right? There is a mourning stage when it comes to letting go of your old life, your old identity, your old way of being. There's a mourning that comes with um, the release of what you thought you wanted or what you, what you thought was it for you, right? 
But this fool is so beautiful because it's like all of this release is making you feel very lighthearted. And um, look, the, the fool pack's really light. See the little knapsack there? The fool doesn't go into their new cycle, new chapter, new beginning with baggage. Okay? This is lighthearted and carefree going off into a new adventure. The fool's a beautiful, beautiful card. I love the fool. It's one of my favorite ones. I guess it's because I'm an Aquarius and I'm all about, you know, the fool's kind of rebellious energy of, you know, doing what 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 we're guided to do, what we want to do, not letting anyone or anything stop us. See, the dog's trying to alert him and stop him from going over the cliff. But it's like, this is truly is having faith. It's like, anywhere is better than this. It's got to be better on the other side, Right? After every ending, there is always a new beginning. And the fool is saying, there's a door opening up for you. After you release and let go, could be some possible shame, remorse, regret, and forgiveness that needs to be done. This person here, they're, they don't know what to do. But if they look up, they can see the sun rising. This person is up all night. Uh, having restless, sleepless nights, tossing and turning, staying up really late not getting that many hours of sleep, possibly not hydrating. Strength is saying you have the ability to overcome this, okay? To turn your back and walk away and surrender your ego. There's somebody's going through an ego death. Surrender the ego when it comes to, you know, uh, this, this resistance energy or this uh, self-sabotage energy, right? You're being asked to surrender, to surrender the old, your old way of being. And learn to have more, uh, like taming your inner, taming your in, inner beast, taming your shadows, taming your darker side, right? Scorpio energy is here. Taming your darker side, taming your shadows, taking control, having more discipline over your words, over your thoughts, over your actions towards yourself and others. We're talking about, you know, um, having confidence even. Yeah, breaking yourself free or somebody is from drama with the truth. The truth always sets us free. Crown chakra awakening here. We have here three of swords, lots of pain. This is what's ending. This is what's ending. This is what's ending. Manipulation is ending. Mind control. I w there's lose here. I want to win at any cost. And it's like, you know, um, pull back. Pull back here. Strength card. Pull back. Tame yourself. Right. Tame yourself from acting out of your shadow instead of your light. Choose love. Always choose love. What will love do in this situation? How can I show this person compassion and love? What will love do in this situation? How can I bring love into this situation? How can I see love in this situation? Does this person just want love? Does this person just want attention? I'm not going to, I'm going to tame myself. I'm going to tame my shadows. I'm not going to fight back. I'm going to walk away. I'm going to surrender. Okay. Um, give me one on death. We have the nine of ones that came out sideways. So we are... At, 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 at a breaking point here, in the middle of, of figuring out whether or not we're going to hold on or give up, per, you know, it's kind of like a toss up here. Spirit is saying, you're stronger than, we saw the strength card, you're stronger than you think you are. This is a card of perseverance against all odds, right? We're going to make it through. Um... But we're also close. This is somebody that has their walls up. Their walls are coming down. The wounded warrior, right? This is comes from a lot of uh, spiritual strength and a lot of resilience, but also a lot of resistance to change. To so somebody here that's looking back a lot at the past, needing to let go of the past. The unfinished business energy here. 
I feel like this is somebody in your energy. This could be you. Or this is somebody in your energy because I feel like there's one person here in this storyline that is um, standing beautifully independent, tall in their own autonomy, in their own sovereignty, you know, um, looking good, smelling good, feeling good in the law of attraction, energy, receiving a lot of abundance. Somebody that's an entrepreneur, living a very luxurious lifestyle, living the life that they dreamed of, that they created for themselves. This is somebody single, beautiful energy here of confidence, self-assured, independence. And I do feel like this is the person that wants to come towards this person. We're dealing, we're talking about a high priestess here. Somebody that's extremely spiritual, um, psychic, intuitive. Somebody that holds a lot of ancient knowledge and secrets. The, the high priestess knows all, says nothing unless guided to. Somebody that's very connected to their bodies, very connected to their intuition. All the clairs is activated here. Somebody's silent, a mystery. This person is a mystery. This person's an enigma. I'm also getting that um mm, interesting 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 okay let's continue i see the ten of cups here secrets could be uh this uh, secrets could be being revealed to this person but i'm getting that there's somebody that wants to talk to this nine of pentacles person um give me Okay, I was about to say, give me one on the nine of swords and I got the page of swords. So this person wants to talk. They they want to talk. That's what they're anxious about. That's what they're worried about. This is somebody nervous looking over their shoulders with the nine of wands. As I always say, the nine of wands, you know, you've been, whoever this is, you or this person has been through a lot, a lot of, uh, life stuff life lessons hardships battles um because this person has a, a a a bigger purpose so do you battles hardships conflict life's challenges okay uh, like it's like one thing after another this person always has so there's a guard up there's a skepticism there's a cynicism there's a jadedness there's a you know, a, a lack of trust, two energies of a lack of trust. The, the page of swords is curious. They look for information outside of them. They struggle to trust their own intuition. And it's right under the nine of swords. So it's like this person is struggling to trust. Look, solar plexus energy of the sun. They, this person is not seeing the sun come out. They need to change their, transmute this energy and change their po their mindset to be more po positive. There's a lot of growth with the sun, the best card to get. So that means, you know, <laughs> the sun is coming out. There are brighter days ahead. Stop worrying, bright future. Everything is going to be fine. So uh, I don't, you know, with this person being a nine of swords, it's hard for them to hear their intuition and hear that their spirit, listen to their whispers of their heart telling them, that it's safe for them to take a leap of faith here on, on, on this direction that they're guided to take, that they're feeling so nervous and so scared about. Tell me one more on the page of swords. Yeah. This masculine energy wants to take action. They have their head, palm in their, their head in their palm, the head in their hand here. <sighs> Having a lot of fear about this. They're haunted. They're haunted. This may be their karma. They're probably afraid that they're losing you. This may be their karma, family. That they there's some their conscious is weighing heavy on them. When it comes to this action that they want to take, it's like they want this so badly, but they can't seem to psych themselves out. They can't seem to get out of their heads about it. Oh, give me one on the fool. Yeah, they, they're passionate. Their passion is ignited to follow their soul, their spirit, their heart's desire. The king of wands is confident. That's the solar plexus energy. The king of wands is, is, is very passionate, is very confident as a leader in their community, could be an influencer. This person is bold and assertive. 
of self-confidence, self-esteem, is an action person that's very active, also very attractive. The queen and the king of wands are the are the are the most attractive, you know, in in the in the in in the tarot. So this person is good looking, right? And uh, even if even if you know they're not, they 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 come off that way. They exude that aura, that energy of being very sexy and very attractive and it is because of this person's confidence but there's something about you that makes them feel very nervous maybe it's because of some kind of actions from the past but this is a part of their this them taking this action here is um a huge a huge part of this person's growth facing this fear it's a huge part because this person is manifesting from this energy here. This person needs to change this energy, transmute, start thinking positive thoughts. Because this person is it, when they face this fear and they take a leap of faith and it's safe for you to take the, 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 the action that you're considering here. When this person does go for it, to them, they feel it's a risk for some reason. And for them to do that, it's a risk them bruising their ego. This person has abandonment wounds. They fear rejection and uh, they fear rejection. It's like their ego is sensitive to criticism and rejection. That's what it is. But it, but I'm getting here that when this person takes the action, it's going to really help this person's growth and evolution. Them to face their insecurities here. It's, it's like facing facing your fears uh, breaking through the glass ceilings, you know, that's what's going to help this person feel more empowered and more confident within themselves. It's like they're doing something that they're so afraid of. It's like a liquid courage. This person may drink or smoke to give them the courage to speak, get whatever they want to get off of their chest. This person is worrying about everything. If I do this, this could happen. If I say this, this could happen. What if, what if, what if, what if? Lots of what ifs. That's why the, the page of swords is here. The page of swords is somebody skeptical. This delayed communication. This person is skeptical. So they're looking for information. They have a lot of uncertainty. The pages are, they're still, they're still cloudy here. The pages are, are uh, apprentices, right? It's the student, but it's also the messenger. It's like the, the, the page does the research, the investigating, you know, learning. The pages are still learning. This person probably doesn't have, doesn't know how to express themselves maturely. Look, the lovers at the bottom of the deck. This is this true love. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. This person doesn't want you to let go. Can I have one for the fool? The sun. Oh my God. Talk about lightheartedness and happiness and childlike energy. Look, the king of pentacles now at the bottom of the deck. Could be the same person. Okay. Um, the the non-risk taker king, right? <laughs> I always talk about this king as being the non-risk taker. But... um. The, the sun, wow, we love the sun, po the most positive card to get. It's expansion, it's heart awakening, recovery, healing, growth, you know, soul expansion, solar plexus, feeling happy. It'll make this person very happy if they do take this. Look, the future is very bright here. If they do take this leap of faith, they're not going to regret it. It's going to lead to happiness, expansion. Look, the sun is out, the sun and out, the sun is coming out. So they're, they're making the situation harder than it needs to be. It's looking like. So the second that this person takes a leap of faith, it's going to lead to their expansion. Like I said, to their growth here, breaking free, breaking. Uh, look, the ho there's a horse here. The horse represents freedom and there's a wall behind the horse, which means they breaking free, breaking through the barriers, right? It's like they're getting their, their fire, their warrior spirit here. 
with the sun. The sun is, oh my gosh, it's freedom. It's peace. It's brightness. It's clarity, understanding, awakening, happiness, joy, vitality, all of the good, good that the sun light brings, right? It's like we open our windows in the morning because we want to see the sunlight come in because the sunlight wakes us up and the sunlight tells us a new day. It's a bright, it's a bright new day. That when the sun hits our skin, it's warm. We look up and it just feels so good. It gives us vitamin D. It gives us vitality, it gives us energy. So, you know, and the sun rules Leo. Leo rules the heart chakra. So there is a heart opening and somebody's feeling lighter in spirit here with the fool. Light as a feather. Their heart is light as a feather. This is inner child healing and childlike energy. I see a baby here. I see a baby here. We did see the empress. So a baby could be coming for some of you guys. Give me one more for the sun. See? Heart activation. Heart healing. Heart opening. We are leaving this finally in the past. Didn't I say it was escalating? We saw the eight of swords. We saw the nine of swords. Now we're seeing the ten of swords. And look, the sun's coming up here again. That's it. We're done with this. We're emotionally, we're cutting cords and we're emotionally detaching from this, what happened in the past. Okay. And, um, we're healing from the, from our heart. I'm going to cover, I'm going to cover the baby. We're healing from heartbreak. Lightness of spirit, a heart chakra activation, heart healing. Okay. An expansion of the heart, freeing ourselves from this trauma, from this pain, from this betrayal. Finally, right? With all of the, um, is the ending of this cycle. And it's our free will choice to emotionally detach from it with the work that we've been doing. Or, or this person. Look, leading towards victory and success here. Public recognition after the battle. Again, we're defeating, we're, we're defeating the, the demons. We're defeating the dark energies, the dark entities. We're defeating the devil. We're defeating our addictions, our patterns, our old lifestyle that wasn't healthy for us. We're defeating our negative thoughts. We're defeating these painful, traumatic thoughts that keep coming up. Intrusive thoughts that keeps coming up, blocking and hindering our growth, hindering our path, blocking our view. Keeping us stuck in this programming, this condition, and this limiting mindset. We're believing in ourselves. Yes. This is heart chakra, solar plexus, sacral chakra work. A lot of solar plexus work here. And remember what we read, that these cords, right, that are attached to our solar plexus, that was keeping us from ascending, this is somebody that's in, in, in the process of ascending, going towards the ninth cup of self-love and emotional fulfillment. Finally leaving this behind, this pain, being pinned down by the memories of this pain, being pinned down by the past. Yes, every single one of these cups is, has some kind of cord or some kind of attachment to some kind of trauma that somebody experienced here. This person did or you or both. I do feel one person, I, I do feel both people are working on this right now, but I do feel mostly because I'm reading this person's energy that this person is coming out of this, um, man down, woman down, stabbed in the back, death process. This is the ending. This is a complete death process, rock bottom energy. Letting something final nail on the coffin, letting something finally go, letting something finally go. Where we sat with the pain, we, we sat with the pain, eight of swords, nine of swords, ten of swords, long enough. Yeah, we're finally coming out of this nine, this wounded warrior, this nine of swords energy here. We're rising from the ashes, rebirth energy. Look at the lotus. Look at the eclipse energy here as well. And, and, and Kali Ma with her third eye awakening here. We're finding peace within right here under the sun. And the fool, we're finding peace within. Yeah, I want to know a little more about this king of wands. Tell me, yeah, didn't I say? 
Their inner warrior is being activated. They're getting ready to fight for you and overcome their fears of love. Yes, that's that's what I picked up on. I said that. Rewind it, family. I said that. Yeah, I'm here for the magic. <laughs> yeah, this person has been feeling broken for so long. But look, passion's ignited for this person. They're rising from the ashes as the phoenix here. Recovery. The sun represents recovery, vitality. They're healing their heart. Can I have one more on this king of wands? Can I have one more on this king of wands? Discovery. Yeah, they're learning. Look, this is your twin. This is twin flame energy. Yes, it is. His flame, his passion is ignited. You don't have to do or be or, or you don't have to be or do anything for them to love you. This love is unconditional. That's why their higher self wants union as much as you do. So you don't have to do or be anything. So there's a, a needing a feeling good enough, right? Feeling worthy, feeling good enough for each other. When this love is unconditional, undying and eternal. Yeah, this person has been exhausted. Didn't I say with the lion, the taming of the beast, temp lots of temptation here and telepathy you guys have. This person has been, you make them putty in your hands. That Yeah, there's something about you that makes this person, normally in their regular everyday life, this person is very confident. But when it comes to you, they feel very nervous. You make them putty in your hands. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. Exhausted. There's a lot of baggage. Then I say nine of wands, ten of swords, right here, eight of cups. And then I say that the fool pack, packs lightly. It's simplicity. The fool goes into the new cycle, a new timeline, a new journey, feeling light, feeling light. There's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they can approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. Lots of telepathy here. You guys are sending each other messages, missing each other, thinking about each other. Telepathy you share cannot be ignored. Your words are slowly leaving imprints on their heart and temptation. You, they have you on a pedestal. They gain a new perspective. Okay, yeah, breaking free. Come on, spirit. Breaking free. They're freeing themselves from their self-imposed prison and leaving behind all that has kept them from you. And because they gain a new perspective here. You are this per They have you on a pedestal. That's why they're so nervous to approach you. Okay, you are the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. And each day gets harder and harder. Nine of swords, ten of swords, nine of wands. gets harder and harder for them to resist what they know in their heart to be true. The sun here, their heart, they had a heart opening, a heart awakening, and a heart healing. They're opening their heart to love. They see you as their forbidden fruit. So yeah, they discovered something here that they saw or heard something. Who knows where? They've been spying, page of swords. So they saw or saw something that, that turned their whole sense of reality upside down. So an awakening, this person got some kind of clarity, maybe whatever they saw or heard, put them in this energy. They probably saw you moving on. They probably saw you moving on, maybe dating other people right here, getting a lot of attention. They saw you successful, you're shining bright, you're taking leaps of faith in your life. Whatever it is, this person's coming to some kind of conclusion within themselves. It could be that they saw they something was uh, uh, revealed to them by their spirit guides, by their ancestor, by the divine, whoever they pray to, by the universe, right? That has shocked this person, awakened this person, created a tower moment in this person's life, you know, and um, it's making them, I don't know come out of this uh, energy here that they've been in. Uh, I want to get... I want to... I was got it to this deck. I want to get one more on this, on this, on this king. Okay. Can I have one more on this king of wands, please? Give me a king of wands. Tell me more. June 1st through August 5th could have been significant. The summer could have been significant for you guys. Something may have happened between June and August. Um, okay, so we have balancing. 
balancing justice scales here remorseful yeah this person is remorseful guilt shame regret through actionable remorseful through actionable change wants to undo the wrongs and do right by you oh okay yeah understanding what you what you put in is what you get out karmic justice this person got some karma like i said this could have been this person's karma is this nightmare being haunted day and night by their guilty conscious their conscious is weighing on them i said that earlier i'm trying to balance the scales of my life and of our connection i took i took from you more than you were able to give and i use you for my own benefit I now understand this was unhealthy and unfair to you. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm getting him. I'm going to get emotional. Yeah, this person loves you. Is there one more from this king? We got Aquarius energy. Could be dealing with an Aquarius or somebody that has it in their chart, or you could be the Aquarius. The positive traits of an Aquarius independent, progressive altruistic intelligent unique idealistic and artistic the negative the shadow impulsive flighty detached aloof rebellious unpredictable and restless the message i acted like i didn't care but i did i just needed my time and space to think on my own i didn't want to be tied down by a relationship because i wasn't ready to put in the work so that could be what this person you know how how things were in the past with you um i like the balancing of the scales i feel like this person has uh, it, uh until this person makes things right they're not gonna have peace it's very clear until this person takes this action to relieve them to to take the load off of their heart to relieve their heart from whatever this this darkness that they're carrying their weight of guilt and shame that they're carrying until they they do that right until they get this weight off of their chest they're not going to be able to to be able to you know this is a lot of forgiveness here they're not going to be able to feel peace until they get this off of their chest until they actually do right by you. Feeling remorseful here. What else does this king want to say? King of Wands. What does king, the King of Wands want to say to his twin flame? What does the King of Wands want to say to his divine counterpart? This is true love, family. I feel your energy around me and I wonder if you're thinking of me too. This person can't stop feeling you, especially now that they've gone through this awakening mirrors our inner guidance is clear but our ego is resisting it this king of uh, wands can have a lot of ego we did see that strength five of wands magician card but look this is good energy because look at this this is them having negative thoughts the what ifs the self-doubt the condition the limitations right but this right here is their higher self a message of timing and intention look at this telepathy here so there is strong telepathy that we saw um i'm trying to understand how my thoughts i'm trying to understand how my thoughts create my reality i know i need to stay positive the sun are you remember telepathy right are you staying positive i know i need to stay positive but are you staying positive about this because it looks to me like you guys are mirroring each other when it comes to the resistance of this connection, guards being up. Let's get one more. What else is this king? Let me see what's at the bottom of the deck. My inner child. My inner child was wounded when my parents couldn't respond to me in the way I needed them to. I'm reacting from that wound. I'm seeing that this person could be leaving some kind of karmic tie, a karmic situation behind as well. For some of you guys, I know I need to release attachments with karmic people. I'm creating a plan to leave him or her. Can I have one more for this King of Wands? What this King of Wands want to say? We incarnated together to clear specific patterns from our ancestral bloodline, the mission card. And that's what's happening. Eight, eight here. What else? And we have nine, nine. Yeah, eight, eight, nine, nine. I'm sorry, eight, eight, eight. 
888, it's a number of abundance. So give me one more for what this king wants to say. I need to move slowly with this, but trust that I am moving even when it seems that I am not. And then we have, I feel the sexual energy between us. King of Wands is fired up. I feel the sexual energy between us, yet yeah, it's beyond physical attraction. It needs to be elevated to the expression of deep, unconditional love. The uh, unconditional love, and now I have three, three. Unconditional love is uh, the mission, is the twin flame mission, right? To align and become unconditional love. That's why I said to keep doing the unconditional love affirmation so that you can align with that vibration, knowing that that is the twin flame journey. So that when this person does reach out, you're receiving them with compassion and unconditional love, not with your ego, not with bitterness, not with swords in your heart, not with resentment, but with love. Because again, this is your <laughs> divine counterpart. Hurting each other hurts yourselves. This person hurting you hurts them. You hurting them hurts you kind of thing. Okay, so it's like... <laughs> Re remove the whole separation the whole all of that when it comes to this connection there is you guys are connected spiritually on a soul level okay so um I, we have here the universe brought us together for a reason i'm discovering what 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 that what these reasons are so this person is again discovery right they kind of received something here that um they're receiving not they haven't received they're learning they're watching something, they're learning, whatever this person is seeing here, you know, it, it's probably making them feel worse and worse and worse because they're seeing the truth. Yeah, they're seeing the truth, the sun, they're, they're getting a new perspective, they're waking up, they're seeing the truth of the connection of who you are, you know, and um, probably coming to terms with their feelings, probably the realizations of what's being revealed to them is that they really do love you. They are in love with you and that you are their true love and that you are the love of their life. Clarify true love here. The, rom the romantic stirrings of your heart have propelled the universe to deliver great love to you. I got the seven of pentacles and the nine of cups. Yeah, divine timing is at play here um, for you, for this uh, complete and total wish fulfillment for the abundance of love to come to come your way. This is uh, your wish, their wish. There's a lot of seeds that were planted here. This goes back. This has roots. Okay. A lot of time, energy invested was invested here. This is what they're realizing. That this uh, connection is everything that they've ever dreamed of and wished for. It's completely satisfying and fulfilling in every area. There is potential for so much growth, okay, and um, and that's the, that's what they're discovering here. That's what you're discovering. You're not settling. You said I, I I I am manifesting my wish, or I'm good on that. I'm not investing time, energy, and effort into anything that's not true love. It's true love or nothing at all, right? Because you already know what those other connections will will end up like. The love is not eternal and everlasting, right? So it's like, unlike true love, true love is eternal and everlasting. So it's like somebody isn't budging. <laughs> They're sitting there being very stubborn and saying this or nothing. But this is a very satisfying connection. This is a wish someone's dream come true and is getting ready to come to fruition. We have two cards of fruition, wish fulfillment, and your, the seeds that you're planting it's like this love has grown and bloomed over time. The bond has strengthened over time. The seeds that you planting, that you plant in this connection is growing and blossoming and coming to fruition. Again, this is the love of a lifetime. There's a lot of time, energy, nurturing, effort, and investment that was already put into this connection. And now it is in the process of growing, emotionally growing, as well as physically growing. So this connection gives you everything that you, it does need nurturing though. 
This connection gives you everything that you ever dreamed of. It's very satisfying on every level here. Yeah, and that's the truth. There might have been a lot of challenges, conflicts, interference in this connection. Not being on the same page, not seeing out of eye, outside interference. But the truth is the truth. Crown chakra activation. The truth is clear. There's an awakening. There's a victory, a triumph, a breakthrough when it comes to this. Because of our faith, right? Crown chakra here. Because we believed. I believe. All right, fam. I'll leave it right here. I love you guys. This is great. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. Okay, so keep keep on keeping on. Keep on releasing this pain. All right, before we go, let me just check real quick. Can I have one more on this King of Wands? Okay, well, that fell on the floor. Hold on. Okay, we have boat. Yeah, re a progression. Arriving. Finally closing this out. Moving on. Releasing any kind of closure issues. This person can't let you go. The closure issues that this person has is with you. They can't let you go. Okay. But this person is getting their inner warriors being activated. And they're getting ready to face their fears here. Can I have one more on this king of wands? Separation. The separation. Healing their heart. They're healing their heart. Making healthier choices here. They're freeing themselves from a toxic relationship or addiction. Yeah. The separation came because this person did not feel good enough for you. They didn't feel like they were enough or they had enough. Okay. Yeah. And that's the twin flame journey. We trigger these things within each other so that we can go in and heal worthiness, self-worth, self-esteem, self-acceptance. So we can have unconditional love for ourselves and others. Okay. And that's the journey. So someone misses you thinking about you yearning and unsure of the future. Yeah. They can't stop thinking about you. That's what the anxiety is about is when we think too much about the future, right? And uh, look, right under bright future, stop worrying. Everything is going to be fine. This person is unsure, right, of the future. Unsure if you're going, going to forgive them, take them back. There's uncertainty here. This person, again, <sighs> they need to forgive themselves. Here, frustrated in relationship, lack of self-confidence, which that's changing with the sun card and the king of wands, self-sabotage, fear and ego issues and jealousy, you know, but again, this person's at the bottom of the deck is now making healthier choices for themselves after they, you know, learned whatever karmic lessons that, you know, we saw justice here, karmic justice, right? The balancing of the justice scales. And that's what's, what, that's what's happening. This person got karma for how they treated you, especially because you're the high priestess. You're an earth angel. And anyone that treats an earth angel not in the right way, place, from a place of uh, dignity and, and integrity and love, is going, to, is going to feel the wrath of the divine. They don't get away with it. And that's the haunting that this person is experiencing, right? But anyways, I'm going to leave it right here, family. I'll see you guys on Tuesday. I love you all. Think positive thoughts. Stay prayed up. Ground your energy. Thank you so much for liking, for sharing, for subscribing. For every which way you guys show up for yourselves, for each other in our community, and for me. I love you all. God bless you and namaste. Much love. See you Tuesday.